Okay, so uh, we are looking at day two, a um, little over 48 hours since I had the cadaver cartilage implants done in two lesions and then also um, high tibial osteotomy. And came home from the hospital yesterday um, pretty early thought that was the best call until about an hour before it was time to leave the hospital and then I second guessed leaving good old-fashioned awesome IV fluid um, medication um, the pain started to kick in PT came in went over um, simple ankle pumps that you do um, quad tightening and how to go up and down with crutches on the stairs, we eventually um, kind of decided that I probably should be with the walker <laughs> for a while um, using the stairs. I will have the crutches for that, obviously, but getting around, I'll be using the walker. It's a little bit more sturdy and I'm a little bit of a klutz. So um, when I got home yesterday, tried to have things kind of already set up um, thanks to one other YouTube um, channel I watched. She had some great tips for major knee surgery. So had some stuff prepped and then one of the best things I think that someone mentioned was having one of those portable um, urinal things because you know women can't just whip it out and go to the bathroom anywhere. And um, I did not utilize that last night However, the pain today has been really bad, um, and so I eventually just used it, and my nine-year-old son would empty it for me because he's just wonderful. Um, very useful. It helped with the pain um, because I wasn't moving at all for probably a good eight hours. And then we also opened up my lovely um, brace and opened it up so we could apply some ice and try and help with the pain. Um, pain levels were really bad. I'm taking as much medication as I can right now as soon as I can take it, and that is just to get through um, and not want to cry. thought about going to... Um, at the hospital today to get a nerve block put in but the first nerve block for surgery um, I don't feel like was really effective and the thought of moving to go anywhere just was dreadful so um, yeah pain levels are worse than I thought they would be um, mainly because yesterday I was able to wait about four hours before taking pain medication um, and I am definitely waking up every three hours if I do happen to fall asleep or um, about every two and a half and that is with nausea medication or with sleeping meds. Um, so just got to stay on top of it and we'll probably head into the doctors tomorrow just to see if we need to do a nerve block or if um, there's a different medication that will help. Some tips that I will say um, someone had one of the exercise bands to lift their leg up and down when they would get um, up from the couch or bed and vice versa. I tried using that, um, was still having a lot of pain if I were to try and you know go to the bathroom, just lifting the leg with the band, not even using any of my own leg strength. Uh, so. My husband started lifting and um, lowering my leg for me, which made a huge change. So if you have the help at home, highly suggest utilizing it um, and having them help you lift your leg and put it back down in order to stand up and go to the bathroom or, you know, whatnot. Um, eating's been fine. I've not really had much of an appetite, um, which is abnormal for me. Love to eat. I'm an athlete. Um, pictures from the surgery. I'll show those real quick and then I will let you guys go. Um, so you can see the screws right there. So that's from the x-ray. Um, some of these other ones are not too informative I would imagine coming across here. 
but this is one, page one. Page two and page three are probably the most um, graphic, as you can see. Um, that's where the graphs were put in. And then I believe this is probably where um, the osteotomy was done. So, yeah, and then I will, um, I'll show you my scar tomorrow, I'm sure, and update everyone on how um, the pain is doing and what I decide to do if I go ahead and get a nerve block. But just be prepared, stay on top of your pain meds, ask for help. Um, I hate to ask for help and have water always nearby, food nearby. Everything that you can have with you at the couch or your bed is um, just helpful. So I'm signing off. Hope this helps some people that are um, getting ready to have the surgery or are just recovering and need to know what to do.